Commander, looks like our new friends from the Hand have just entered orbit. I'll get them cleared to land right away. Commander, I am Darth Riffix. I believe the Empress told you to expect me. You'll be the liaison between the Alliance and the Hand? Precisely. Competition for the role was heated, as I'm sure you can imagine. I am proud to have stood above all others. I'll have my shuttle bring me to the surface directly. I always prefer speaking in person. Face to face at last. Your hollow does you no justice, my friend. I hope you've come for more than empty flattery. Let's find out. Permit me to be direct. My duty as liaison is to facilitate your operations as best I can. My success is judged by your success. I will not profit from obstructing or undermining you. Much as I savor them, deception and manipulation are not among my objectives here. I will relate my Empress's desires to you and your accomplishments to her. Anything you require of the Empire's resources, I will obtain. I shall be your ally, your spokesman, and I hope your confidant. You have my vow on it. I hope you can live up to your word. I don't take disappointment well. Nor should you. The best deserves the best. Now, if I may impose upon you a bit more before we delve into official matters, I would love a tour of your base. The stories I've heard... Of course. I'll show you around myself. Wonderful. Lead the way. Our military wing. Commodore Pardax commands our fleet and ground forces. Your soldiers come with the highest recommendation. To overcome the forces of Zakul, where so many others failed, they must be magnificently deadly. A pity to have lost the Eternal Fleet. But victory will be ours regardless. Good day, Commander. Tessa Pardux at your service. Admiral Ego is bringing me up to speed on the current status of your military forces. Once I have assimilated all available information, I would appreciate a moment of your time to discuss strategic planning for the future. Our underworld trading experts. You've already spoken with Hilo Vids. Your integration of otherwise criminal activities and personnel is truly innovative. Where others see risk, you see opportunity. My crews appreciate those free fly codes. Never had smoother sailing in Imperial territories. Of course, whatever aids the Alliance, aids the Hand. Our science labs. Dr. Ogorob leads our research teams. A hot scientist. The reports were true. It's wonderful to meet you, Dr. Ogorob. You must be Darth Rivix. I cannot thank you enough for the wealth of materials you forwarded. Targeted viral pathogens, cross-species manipulation of cerebrocortical structures. Truly fascinating research. Thrilled to oblige. Our Force Enclave. I'm told your apprentices have trained with members of several Force-using groups, including Jedi. A valuable advantage in combat. Perhaps we could arrange some shared training with the Overseers on Korriban? I'm sure they would have much to learn. Yes, of course. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. If my master commands me to slay Death herself, I will do it. The Cantina. Care for a drink? Not at the moment, but I would love to share one later. This view is magnificent. You have so much to be proud of. You must be quite proud of what you've achieved here. I am. Ready to get started? Absolutely. The destruction of the Meridian Complex on Corellia continues to accelerate our war efforts. We've won decisive victories in the Bormir, Atrevis, and Anoat sectors. The Republic is reeling. Perfect conditions for the Hand to press the advantage. Where does Asino want us to strike first? That will come in time. For now, Let's focus on logistical concerns. We are solidifying supply lines and secure communications between Odessa and the rest of Imperial space. An initial deployment of security personnel and patrol ships is already en route. 
All subject to inspection and approval by your staff, of course. We would like to deploy an additional complement. Assault troops, transports, and so on, to serve in your missions. Having them here, ready to move at your command, would seem logical. Any more troops that are stationed here will have restricted access. I'm sure you understand. Of course. We are your allies, not an occupation force. Now then, there is one other matter that needs your attention as we spin up the hand's day-to-day -day operations. I've been reviewing the warship assets offered to us, and I noted a potential oversight. The silences. Given your experience with the silences and Moff Pyron, it seems fitting to end their current frontline assignment and transfer them to the hand. The silences are mine. Have them report to Odessan immediately. I'll send the order at once. I believe that concludes our business for the day. Do you require anything else? Any word on Darth Malgus? I haven't seen him since Corellia. You are not alone in that. No one has seen him since the battle. It's all rather mysterious. Perhaps he was more badly injured than anyone knows. Or perhaps he's gone rogue again. But surely that's not possible. I will not return. I will not return. I will not Once again, your vital signs have elevated far beyond ideal values. I am concerned that these episodes pose a risk of permanent damage. Then stop them. I have already removed all physical modifications related to your loyalty assurance protocols. These hallucinations are the result of psychological manipulation. To correct such potent mental conditioning is beyond my program's scope of practice. Honestly, I am unaware of any technique capable of editing the pathways of your mind so extensively. I have heard of one possibility. Set course for Dantooine. You don't demand anything, Jakaya. Certainly not from her. If you're risking your life out there, I'll demand what the clan requires. What's going on? It seems I'm a child in need of a parent. You're Mandalore, the Avenger. You have responsibilities to all of us. So you often tell me. Who's this? Jakaya Ordo. One of my best. He managed to avoid my notice for too long, but now I've put him to work. Though I'm having second thoughts. I would gladly go back to being an unknown great Mandalore. I prefer the talk of warriors to the endless jabbering of politics. <laughs> the curse of being skilled at both, you old rancor. <laughs> so you're the one. Not sure if I should call you Commander. Most people do these days. Understood. You earned it. The fact is, Commander, I only know your reputation. I don't know you. It's my job to take a hard look at anyone this close to Mandalore. My kind and yours have worked together a long time, Sith. As a result, we've both grown powerful. I don't understand your power, but you've got more in your two hands than a carrier full of heavy artillery. Do you always speak this plainly to Mandalore? I speak my mind, that's all. She's had a dozen occasions to stick a knife in my ribs for insubordination. But I'm still here. Bootlickers are only good for licking boots. So, what happens now? I've seen your face. Looked into your eyes. That's what I wanted. Satisfied? For now. Good. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Some clan grumbling to track down. More than the usual complaints. Ras and I will check into it. Jakaya out. Ras? His brother. They're a family of Mandalorians. Lost a sister a few years back. Hmm. Something wrong? That's the first time he's mentioned a clan issue. He oversees a lot of the day-to-day -day details without a word. 
If it troubles you, take action. I did. Takaya is better at rooting out these sort of problems. He kept an assassin's knife out of my gut more than once. Tell me, Commander. How would you deal with unrest in the ranks? If a group has a problem, it's usually for a reason. Maybe they see something you don't. We have more in common than I thought. Mandalorians must be allowed to speak out, to think for themselves, to be effective. Chikaya demands order. Everything working together as a whole. I understand, and it keeps it all running. But I don't work that way. Well, looks like I've got reports to review on escort missions we've been overseeing. Chikaya snuck them into the transmission. Sneaky Chikar. I'll leave you to it. We've waited too long as it is. Something is wrong. I'm sure of it. Smashing up the place isn't going to solve anything. We'll find the ship. It's going to be all right. I take it there's no sign of the transport with Satil and her followers? Nothing. It isn't responding to our signals. And we've already checked the next scheduled stop. No sign. Which leaves just about two or three hundred systems to search. There must be another way! Let's start by not breaking anything. This furniture wasn't free. Go easy on him. It's been hundreds of years since he felt real emotions. He's a bit out of practice. All we can do is start searching from the ship's last known coordinates. Which, for us could take forever. So we get an expert. We'll send T7 out with an escort and all the probe droids we can find. They'll cover more ground and sort through sensor readings faster than we ever could. T7 works as astromech magic, crunches the probe data to pick up a trail, and we find our missing ship in a matter of days or weeks, instead of years. Who should be escorting them? More droids? That would be best. They won't be affected by... whatever the Emperor has done to Satil and the others. That's everything settled, then. As soon as we get coordinates, you'll be the first to know. Don't worry, your furniture's safe. He'll calm down in a bit. Did you learn anything from the clans? Nothing I haven't mentioned before. A lot of heated words. Some are saying Mandalorians are just glorified couriers. Still unable to see past their next fight. All tactics and no strategy. However restless you are in the position, Mandalore, you sound like a leader. I sound angry. My blaster is still a better negotiator than I will ever be. What about the escort runs? Silence. But only a fool would believe they haven't heard something. What happened? Some of the cargo ships we were looking after ran into trouble. Mostly scouts sniffing around. But one exchanged fire. We've been looking into it. Jakaya. Commander. We meet again. I've been keeping an eye on you. And? Mandalore was right to stand by your side. Sounds like you should be watching someone else. Always. Who would attack Mandalorian ships? That's the real question. They're well equipped and they know our methods. What can I do? Your offer is appreciated. But we have things in hand. Any theories? A few. It's not bandits. It's not even a cartel looking to make a mark. This feels different. Like they're testing our defenses. I know you object, Mandalore. But we must look closer to home. I don't object. I just want to be sure. Would some of the clans really go that far? I'm not ruling it out. Like I said, there were some heated words. Like Shay said, we need to know more before we jump to conclusions. I understand. But something is making my trigger finger itch. We should have clamped down harder on the clans when we had the chance. The wound has festered. No, Mandalorians aren't droids. We're best when we don't have some restraining bolts on our neck. Even if it costs us. Put a stop to this, or I will. It won't come to that. If your help is needed, we'll ask. But enough talk. Our agreements must continue. We gave our word those cargo transports would be safe. Understood, Mandalore. 
I'll see if I can draw the enemy out. Can't fight what we can't see. If I'm lucky, I'll make them mad enough to come out and play. Jakaya out. I'd prefer a fight to all this sneaking about. Agreed. Keep me informed. Count on it. <laughs>